717 coming at you live from the elliptical and boy am I feeling pumped up today uh, 20 and 9 minutes 4 seconds into my workout level 12 I'm just feeling psyched for life uh, blessed to be a part of the beautiful tapestry that God has woven out of everyone and everything and I attribute that to the fact that Phil and I had one of those great talks last night one of those uh, all night up on the deck you know hashing things out clearing the air getting rid of all the, the tension and, and the misunderstandings in our relationship, you know, which then of course enabled us to move on to bigger things. Like, you know, what's it all for? What are we doing here? Uh, what's, what's the point of everything? Um, we talked a lot about, you know, wh what happens after we die. And, you know, uh, if we do come back, uh, what we'd like to come back as, I feel pretty strongly um, that I want to come back as someone who is really good at playing the triangle. Um, I have a lot, a lot of gifts, a lot of skills, but that is not one of them. I find it very counterintuitive, the size ratio between sort of the main piece and the one that you use to keep rhythm with. Um, and it's going to haunt me, but I've sort of let go of the idea that that's going to happen in this lifetime. Uh, Phil, on the other hand, he said that he'd like to come back in you know, a pretty similar life. He'd like to be a dog in a loving home. But the only difference, he liked his owner to be someone who um, doesn't like to exercise. And, you know, we had a good laugh about that. And then I had him do some boot camp drills uh, until about an hour ago. Now, he's in bed. He's sleeping. He's uh, recovering in about 60 to 90. He's going to be up and ready round two. I, on the other hand, I, you know, I, I didn't get any sleep. I was feeling so jazzed about everything, you know, sleep. Who needs it? Um... So my pump up song today, we gotta get out of this place, the animals. My little girl, you're so young and pretty. And one thing I know is true. You're gonna die before your time is due. Um, and I hear that a lot, you know. Oh, you're so young and so pretty. Um, I think people do worry. Um, that I'm gonna die, you know, which I will at some point. But it's I'm only the, to the topic of a lot of late night conversations amongst others. Uh, but what I love about this song, it really captures the desperation, you know, that we gotta get out of this place. That's how I feel when I go shopping at an outlet mall. Um, you know, I hate the, the crowds and the feeling of fighting for what you want and the harsh lighting. And you know, frankly, I don't really like buying at a discount. I find that whole thing pretty depressing. I, I like to just, you know, walk in, Alexander Wang, I'll take that. Not gonna try it on. Um, you know, if it doesn't fit, uh, someone somewhere will wear it. Uh, if I'm gonna, you know, kind of participate in that kind of like, you know, like whole middle America thing, much rather do it in like a casino where there's a sense of irony, you know. Uh, well, I'm out of money, but uh, let's bet the house on it, you know. Wink, wink. Uh, it's, it's just, it's not quite such a downer. Uh, I'm wearing today, you'll see, a beach cover-up. Um, I am going to the beach in one of the last days of summer. I want to take it, well, not the last days, but, you know, it's winding down. And, you know, I want to throw on the bikini, uh, running out of opportunities. I like to bear my midriff. It's sort of, you know, it's, it's, it, the world wants to see it. There's um, not too many sets of ab abdominals like these. Uh, anyway, I want to talk to you about, you know, what you can do as the summer winds down. Take advantage. Have a little fun. Do things you're not going to be able to do pretty soon when the fall rolls around. Uh, so, number one, if you want to have a little fun, find fun people to hang out with. Um, and, you know, if, if they're all busy, you know, if we're all at the beach or something, you know, access that fun part of yourself. The way I like to do this is I, I like to, you know, make a prank call. Like at five in the morning, I'll pick up the phone, I'll call Oprah. And I'll say, you know, uh, it's like a block number. Hey, Oprah, it's your PR agent. We're having a crisis. We, you know, one of your, um, you know, women's organizations in, in Africa is being run by a drug dealing terrorist organization. And, you know, get, get up, get ready. And we're going to have a press conference. And, you know, like 20 to 30 minutes later when she's in full panic mode, I'll call back and I'll say, just kidding, it's Gail, want to meet for breakfast? And I'll send her somewhere like sort of far away and I'll show up and, you know, she'll sort of roll her eyes and say, 
I'm gonna have to change my number again. Um, it's like it's how we joke, and then you know she she, she will change it, but I'll, I'll I always find it. So that's number one. Um, number two, do something fun, do something different. Um, you go on a picnic, but but don't go to a park. Go somewhere out of the box. I like to go to a stranger's house for a picnic, and you know there's almost always kind of a an easier entrance than you would think, and they're grateful. You know who doesn't want to come home to a meal already prepared for them and when they seem upset you just you go like a oh lo siento no hablo inglés uh people are very sympathetic to a castilian accent um and you know while you're in there i like to clear out their fridge of all the unhealthy stuff uh, no, they, they don't want that in there you know that's number two and finally we're gonna fuel all the fun uh most importantly you need to be eating protein all day